Where do you find people now? People that you want to date? Church. No, it's a bad place to find a woman now, is that church. Why? Terrible place. Well, because what happens is there's what's called the Great Ho Reformation. What did he say? Oh, uh oh, sorry. I'm not gonna like this, I'll tell you right now. What happens is there's a lot of women out there who are getting into their thirties. They have ridden what we like to refer to as the cock carousel. Whoa, whoa. And they did it for a long time. It's true. They couldn't find a guy, and so in their thirties now, they're kind of screwed. And kind so screwed. what they do is they reform and find Jesus. And then go to the church, and then when they're at the church, they try to meet guys. Mm -hmm. But is it a problem if yeah. they really find Jesus? Maybe they're coming for all the right reasons, but it really doesn't change the yeah. fact that I don't think that if a man in his 20s and 30s doesn't want to marry a former prostitute because she converted to Christianity, he probably doesn't need to. Emotional damage! What is it about women and accountability to where the two are just like oil and water? Why is that? <laughs> well, how often do we really hold them accountable? It's very rare. Sure. I guess just the pattern that I've noticed is like, it's a constant process of emotional justification for their actions without admitting that it was a mistake. I think it's not necessarily because in their heart of hearts they believe it. Yeah. It's because it works. Like every time the cop lets the woman off the hook for the speeding ticket because she's crying, it just trains that kind of behavior in women. Okay. Like to what extent has acting in that way caused the dad to let up when she was a girl? There's a quote from Socrates that goes, trust not a woman when she weeps, for it is her nature to weep when she wants her will. <laughs> Thoughts on that? It's a banger. Sorry, what Madison. Works. I agree. Okay, people, check this out. What we have here is the female cycle of chaos. On this cycle, you have quite a few things, so I'm gonna break it all down. Best case scenario, you meet this girl and she's normal. Now, when women are normal, they want to feel all the positive emotions. They wanna, they wanna feel joy, happiness, everything that can be considered positive, they wanna feel. Over time, they are going to get bored with feeling positive emotions. Then they're going to want to feel negative emotions, right? That's anger, that's pain, that's betrayal, all of it. And these emotions are 100% based on what you are doing. If you are giving her this, if you're doing that, if you're saying this, if you're saying that, she's going to consider that positive emotion and she loves that. No matter how much you give her, she wants negative emotions. So she's going to focus on the things that you're not giving her, that you're not saying to her. And then all of a sudden she gets her negative emotions. Like I said, all of this is service based is based on what you do to her or for her. Now, this is all based on affect. That is the act of experiencing emotions, both positive and negative. It's like cause and effect. We'll get to that later. So this is like a candy shop. You go to the candy shop, you would think to yourself, nobody wants the candy corn. Nobody wants the butterscotch. Nobody wants the black licorice. That's not the case with women. They want it all. They desire bad emotions. I understand. Doesn't make sense, but that's women. Okay. That's affect. Now on their way down, they hit the danger zone. When women hit the danger zone, they become self-destructive and they start blaming other people. Now, keep in mind, each one of these tick marks, like I said, it represents a different emotion. It represents a different feeling. There are different feelings and emotions that come with being self-destructive. The best way I can really explain it is kind of like people who have risky sex, like they have sex in public places. It's like the thrill of getting caught, right? Almost like a criminal type deal. They, they like being self-destructive. They know they're being self-destructive. They know they're destroying their own life and they're doing it on purpose. Then they start blaming everybody for their bad decisions and then they hit rock bottom. Now, before, before they go back up to normal, they have to have a healing phase. And in that healing phase, they are the victim and they have to have forgiveness.
Now, you notice I have a double arrow right here. If they are not perceived as the victim, if you don't allow them to be the victim and you don't give them forgiveness, they'll go right back down to rock bottom and back down to the blame game and being self-destructive. This whole area here, zero accountability. That's where that comes from. Now, if they get to be the victim and you give them forgiveness, then they'll go back to being normal and you get to play the game all over again. This whole thing is based off of cause and effect. You did something that caused them to have an affect. That is, you did something that caused them to experience emotions, both positive and negative. That's this over here. And the effect is that they get to have zero accountability for how they act. Most of their actions are going to be self-destructive, right? They're going to be the victim, even though they're the ones doing all the wrong and they're going to have to get forgiven. This is why we call this the danger zone, because once they get here, no accountability. Now, all of this is based off of your girlfriend or wife or daughter is based off that that 30 day cycle of her having her period. If your girlfriend, if your wife, if your daughter, whoever, if that person is on birth control, this entire cycle can be something that happens twice a month, three times a month. It could be every week they go through this. But this is why women are so damn chaotic, because this is what they desire in general. Keep in mind, affect. This is something you as a man, you will never experience the desire for affect. Men don't necessarily want negative emotions. We want positive emotions. We experience negative emotions, but women desire to feel bad and feel good. That's something that's foreign to men. So just understand this. This is what your woman is and there's nothing you can do about it.